हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द सेवेंटीन ऑनलाइन लेक्चर फॉर द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ सोशियोलॉजी डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी आर ऑन टू द कंक्लूडिंग चैप्टर ऑफ आर टेक्सट बुक चैप्टर नंबर एट सोशल चेंज लेट एस फर्स्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एग्जैक्टली वी मीन बाय सोशल चेंज students we all know that nature is never at rest change is ever present in the world because change is the law of nature society is not at all static but it is a dynamic entity it is subject to constant changes social change has occurred in all the societies at all times every society and culture no matter how traditional and conservative constantly undergo change example india of today is different from the india of yesterday all human societies are dynamic and continuously undergoing change change is thus an ever present phenomena everywhere students there is a difference between the term change and social change any alteration modification or difference that take place in a situation or an object through time can be called change but social change is much beyond that the term social change indicates the changes that takes place in human interactions and interrelations society is a web of social relationships and hence social change obviously means a change in the system of social relationships the term social change is used to denote desirable differences in social interactions and social organizations social change does includes the changes that take place in the structure and functions of the society let's see some of the definitions of social change according to m e jones social change is a term used to describe variations in or modifications of any aspects of social processes social patterns social interaction or social organizations another definition is given by kingsley davis so according to kingsley davis by social change is meant only such alterations as occur in social organization that is structure and functions of society after understanding the meaning and definition of social change let us try to examine the nature of social change the phenomena of social change is not simple but complex it is difficult to understand this phenomena entirely change is an integral part of human society changes occur in the natural world as well as in all human societies communities whether tribal rural or urban backward or modern simple or complex also experience change the nature of change and the direction of change will vary from one society to another but change is inevitable changes may be slow or rapid the consequences of change may be positive that is constructive or negative that is destructive nature of social change refers to its basic qualities or characteristics sometimes changes proceed from one stage to another and in a single direction this is an example of linear change it may also be multilinear that is changes can take place in several different directions at the same time 
change may be cyclical also the speed of change is also different the changes take place slowly or at a quicker pace the terms slow or fast are relative thus the term social change refers to changes that take place in the structure and functioning of social institutions example government education economy marriage family religion etc Herbert Spencer is popularly known for his treatment of the organic analogy. He drew analogy between the society and the biological organism. Spencer believed that the social structure is a living organism. He observed some similarities between biological and social organisms. both society and organism are subject to growth as both society and organisms grow in size they also increase in complexity of structure when changes take place in the structure of organs and communities there results a change in their functions also human society is thus a structure with various parts these parts are interrelated and interdependent some body parts may become dysfunctional at times in the same way the social system also may become dysfunctional at times people have to make efforts to bring about stability at such times social institutions like education government regulate human conduct Social change also refers to change in performance of social roles according to changing times. Structural changes always occur in society. Example in terms of size of family, joint families are now undergoing significant changes. Thus social change is a complex phenomena. Any difference modification that takes place in a human situation through time can be called social change let us now move on to study the characteristics of social change number 1 universality social change is universal it is a universal phenomena All societies undergo change whether they are savage, primitive or modern. Change in society happens on account of expansion of population and advancement of technology. This change may differ in speed and is not uniform. It includes change in beliefs, tools, attire, customs, but the change is happening. Number 2 continuous process society goes through continuous change it is a never ending process and can never be stopped there is a continuity in society society is in a permanent state of flux right from the emergence of human society from the times of nomadic cave dwellers to the present every aspect of human life has changed it is not possible to protect society from the impact of time number 3 temporal social change is temporal that is it happens in a time sequence innovations of new things modifications renovations of the existing phenomena and the discarding of the old takes time social change is not instant all changes take place in time frames the speed of social change may vary from place to place time to time and within a social context time is the best yardstick to measure change number 4 interactional chain reaction 
Social phenomena are always mutually interdependent. A single factor may trigger a particular change, but it is almost associated with other factors. Thus, interaction of multiple factors like physical, biological, cultural, social, economic, political, etc. bring about social change. Change in one aspect of social life may lead to a series of changes in other aspects. Example, new laws passed after independence changed the nature of marriage. This also reduced the rigidity of caste endogamy. Increase in inter-caste marriages led to a more secular approach and a greater focus on education than caste. Another example could be that of industrialization. It affected domestic production. Women moved out of their homes to work in factories and offices. They became financially independent and more empowered. This in turn affected family life in various ways. Number 5. Neutrality Social change is a neutral term. It has no value judgment. As a process, it is categorical, that is, it is neither moral nor immoral, but it is amoral. It is thus ethically neutral. One can study social change without being for or against the change. Social change may be progressive or regressive, permanent or temporary, planned or unplanned, beneficial or harmful. Social change may be swift and radical. Example, French Revolution or it may be slow and gradual. Example, changes in traditions and customs. Thus, social change is an objective term. Number six, short term and long term changes. Some social changes may bring about immediate results, while some others may take years or decades to produce results. This distinction is significant because a change which appears to be very vital today may be nothing more than a temporary oscillation having nothing to do with the essential trends of life some years later. This is what historians mean when they say that time alone can place the events of the day in their true perspective. The purchase of new gadgets can be faster when compared to giving up social evils like dowry, early marriage, etc. Eradicating strongly embedded customs and practices takes decades to get rid of. Number 7. Planned or Unplanned Change The direction and tempo of social change are often conditioned by human engineering. Plans, programs and projects may be launched by man in order to determine and control the rate and direction of social change. Unplanned change refers to change resulting from natural calamities such as famines, floods, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, etc. When such disasters occur, there is loss of human and animal life and property also. Some purposeful and planned changes are promoted by the government or other agencies, example, planned cities in India. Now students, let us move on to examine the concluding part of this chapter as well as that of our standard 11 syllabus that is the factors responsible for social change. Society is in a continuous flux, various forces and factors, internal as well as external, are at work to make society changeful. The sources or causes of social change are many. The physical, biological, cultural and technological factors have been regarded as potential factors of social change. 
मोर ऑफन सोशल चेंज इज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ द इंटरक्शन ऑफ मल्टीपल फैक्टर्स इन दिस सेक्शन वी शेल एग्जामिन द सोशो कल्चरल फैक्टर इकोनॉमिक फैक्टर द टेक्नोलॉजिकल फैक्टर एंड एजुकेशनल फैक्टर लेट एस कंसिडर द सोशो कल्चरल फैक्टर फर्स्ट ह्यूमन कल्चर इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ चेंज any change in the cultural order is accompanied by a corresponding change in the whole social order where two cultures meet or clash social changes are inevitable cultural diffusion is a source of change culture includes our values and beliefs ideas and ideologies morals and manners customs and traditions and various institutions these are all subject to change and in turn cause changes thus cultural factors constitute another source of social change ideas and ideals ideologies and philosophies are inherently changeful in some periods ideas of liberty equality and democracy may be found and in some periods strict discipline centralized order or religious orthodoxy may prevail thus no culture ever remains constant and no culture ever develops in isolation the next factor that we shall discuss is the economic factor the economic factor is of unique importance in social change stages of economic development promote large scale political and social transformations economic development affects different institutions the growth of large scale industries led to a spurt in cities employment opportunities trade unionism etc economic competitions has led to class conflict in the society the class divide continues to this day for conflict theorist conflict is considered a basis for change in society The third factor is the technological factor. The technological factors represent the condition created by man which have a profound influence on his life. In his attempt to satisfy his wants, make his life comfortable and fulfill his needs, man builds a civilization. Technology is a product of civilization. technology is a systematic knowledge which is put into practice that is to use tools and run machines to serve human purposes science and technology go together technology is fast growing in utilizing products of technology man provokes social change Technology changes society by changing our environments to which we in turn adapt. A single invention may have innumerable social effects. Example, radio has influenced our environment, education, politics, sports, literature, etc. Our daily life is increasingly loaded with the effects of technology from our homes to workplace sports entertainment banking voting e-learning etc we live in digitalized age technological development continues to be an index of overall progress of society thus technological changes have affected social economic religious political and cultural life of human beings Let us now consider the educational factor of social change. Education can also be understood as a factor of social change. 
Education can initiate social change by bringing about a change in the outlook and attitudes of man. It can bring about a change in the pattern of social relationship and thereby may cause social change. One of the purposes of education is to change man and his life and his living style. However, ignorance, lack of awareness and unwillingness to be educated is a major impediment in, in to change. Education through various means such as formal education, informal education, non-formal education and open and distance learning provides opportunities for us to get educated. We then use our skills to seek employment. Nowadays, there is use of technology within education through e-learning, online education, smart boards, virtual classrooms and this has brought about far-reaching changes even within the field of education. The government has also taken efforts by proclaiming RTE, Right to Education and providing scholarships to needy and meritorious students. Thus, education can transform people's lives and be an instrument of social change. So students, that's all the information you need to know in the chapter on social change. Thank you for remaining tuned to the lectures in sociology since the past few months. Hope the lectures were beneficial to you all. Thank you.